This is the house that camera I built. Time to get started. Good morning. Start of VidCon Day 2. Uh, I would have filmed earlier, but I forgot. And then there's all this craziness. I'm trying to get into the main stage thing uh, because <laughs> uh, that's kind of what we had planned on doing. There's a panel I wanted to catch, but I wasn't too sure on it, so this should be more fun. But this is the line right now. So not too big, but they've already let people in, so probably bad for us. Um, the fortunate thing is that uh, I'm not going to wait in that line. Boom! Like, we're on, that line ends on another block, essentially. That's insane. But that's all to get into the main halls. Um, so that's everyone else who's not trying to get into this, get trying to get inside, and, and I might as well just got here after nine. <laughs> Still have to open the doors. Um, but we'll see what fun we have today. This is how people clap at the main stage. <laughs> that's the floor crowd. There's the big ass screen stage. Why can't we have the movie in here? Oh, because they're doing like concerts. This is what the second floor looks like for the first panels that I am interested in at least. And this is pretty crazy because you have to like find the room, find the start of the line, and then follow it all the way to the back of the line. Which is all but insane. So I'm just gonna keep going until I find what I'm looking for. Just finished up with the main stain, nothing it's too crazy. Going on there, uh, just trying to <laughs> see what's up. Uh, well, this morning, the uh, true facts guy was probably the best part of that. The uh, life lesson the recipients. Just tried to go to uh, working for YouTubers. Uh, way too many people. I followed the end of that line all the way. I was kind of hoping the fallback would be the copyright panel, but I ended up in the Q and A for Natalie and Nikki Kid. Uh, super glad to hear. And talk about their life and stuff. And is the They're super informative. Uh, so the only bad part of that really was at the end, everybody—not everybody, but like a significant portion of people fangirl mob after them they disappeared out the back door. Uh, so there was no option to like meet people or anybody. They—they they were supposed to have a meet and greet somewhere uh, anyway, so they went to that. Um, so I'm just here waiting on Life of the Independent. Uh, the other one I was thinking was Power Online Video, but uh, I definitely want to sit in this. Uh, oh, yeah, coming out of Minky Kitty and Animal, I met uh, Leah real quick uh, from Team Rehab. So that was kind of interesting. Um, I still want to see reflections of things in my glasses. Uh, but uh, I'm really looking forward to the workshop how to YouTube. And currently, that is. 235 people scheduled, so I don't know what kind of workshop you can do. I didn't bring my tripods. Alright, so I am on the balcony thing that I didn't know existed, waiting to uh, maybe go into the workshop how to YouTube. So, it's back there somewhere inside, but it comes out here and runs all the way out here. And I can only assume that that's not the end of the two lines, that's just one big rotation of nonsense. Uh... But it looks like I could be terribly wrong. So, hey, it's VidCon. But I did just run into Mark W. Gray, but I'm an idiot, so I've got to take out my camera, even though we did the selfies. Uh, uh, so good to see him on his feet and up about it here at VidCon, but um, I'm a moron. So, yay, let's see if we actually get into this workshop thing. Talked to some very nice uh, YouTubers over there, and they're telling me that, yep, that's all the same damn line. Going all the way back inside, but now I don't know why this sign is moving forward. So let's investigate. Okay, so that line is moving somewhere else. Sorry, you're fine. So, no. So all I have to do is find out where people stop moving forward. Oh no, the end of the line is back there, near where the room is. Okay, so I made a great mistake there. 
Wow. So, like I was just talking to those YouTubers, uh, it seems like this line is moving, but uh, like I was talking to these nice folks, uh, actually I just ran into someone else who knew Mark, so that's interesting. But as I was talking to some lovely folks in line, uh, there's just too many people for uh, security to handle. It's the same thing like you look at a school, teachers versus students. Uh, you, the ratio just has to be smaller for it to work. There's almost too many people here for VidCon to work the scheduling and just like some security guys don't even know it's called VidCon. It's ridiculous. Um, but uh, it is what it is. Hopefully uh, it's a better experience than not for most people. So, uh, how did YouTube workshop got canceled, and now I have to come deal with this? Uh, apparently it's Shane Dawson. I don't know. I just walked past, uh, oh, what's his name? Ju uh, not just Carl. Um, I don't know, he's a, he's a funny guy. He's, he's worked with Polaris in the past. Um, Ron, uh, it's Ron. Uh, yeah, he's right there, actually. Um, and he is not getting mobbed, <laughs> which is pretty interesting, because I think he's a better YouTube creator than uh, Shane Dawson, but uh, apparently the world does not agree with me. But I need food, and I'm going to try to rendezvous slash relax a minute before we get to another panel. So much has been happening. Uh, the workshop, How to YouTube, got canceled out, or I, I couldn't get in at least. So I went back out and found a couple friends, and then we hung out for a minute. Uh, but I found out that there was a Rooster Teeth meetup, which was really just Bernie meetup, uh, which is fine because if there was anyone at Rooster Teeth I ever wanted to shake their hand, it was uh, Bernie Burns. Uh, I, I think at this point, uh, for living people, um, people I would consider like role model types, or at least that I highly admire, would be uh, Bernie Burns and McFoley. So I got to shake his hand, tell him that, make an ass of myself in the process. Uh, but most importantly, thank him for over 10 years of entertainment and the work that he's done. Uh, I, I can only hope I do the same thing. Um, but uh, I went from there uh, directly up, and I don't know why it wasn't yeah. more full. It was such an That's instant little meetup. Uh, there was a panel with uh, Christina Horner, OK was moderating. Um, Emily, I can't remember her name from How to Adult was there. Uh, Austin Cullen, and he does a, like a family vlog thing, and uh, this Mark guy again, um, who was the guy who lived in a plane for like a month. Uh, really good guy, I just don't know him, not familiar, so I can't remember what's going on. Um, so, oh my god, not only was Christina there, uh, who was like my number one person uh, to meet for YouTubers, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting anxiety again just thinking about it because uh, she was like like my YouTube crush for every day like back in 2007 uh, 2008 when I went back to college like her like her and Philip Franco like her their videos that like got me through all the dead time in between classes and just insane oh man um, but uh, not only was she there on the panel but for job hunters uh, Tara uh, Theris was there Megan was there um, a couple other people that I know are associated with Christina, but I'm not familiar with them or their work. Um, but uh, I, I got to meet uh, Megan and uh, have like a little conversation. She was super cool, such a lovely lady. Um, and uh, Tara, I actually had a nice, real conversation, I feel like. Uh, of course, I get maybe I buttered it up because I, I had to explain that why I was having anxiety is because uh, she's just beautiful. Um, but uh, I got to talk to her about Geeky Hostess and what she plans on doing with it becoming a YouTube channel. I can't wait for that. Um, I would rather watch that than Nerdy Nummies. She expressed to me that she's afraid it'll be too much like she needs to find that distinctive edge. I can't wait for her to find that, that edge uh, that she needs to make it happen. Um, definitely a show I'd watch. Uh, uh, and then Christina, I actually got a little conversation with her as well. I'm super happy about that. Oh my god. And then, like, Tara was standing right next to her, so I <laughs> both put me in there and explained and asked myself that uh, I was having anxiety, or pretty girl anxiety, rather, about the two of them being there. And she was so nice and cool uh, about being a weirdo. 
and uh, actually had a little conversation about job hunters and, and what's going on. And oh my gosh, uh, I'm again, I'm, I'm having relapses of anxiety from just thinking about it. And then I met this really nice uh, lady, uh, Carrie, who was a Patreon subscriber to Christina as well. Um, and uh, so I got to talk to her a little bit and, and decompress. Uh, talk to another girl that, that wasn't someone I'd watch because uh, uh, I mean, just, I mean oh my gosh uh, like I said to Dr. Stan was a deep crush forever and, and Taurus just kind of wanted to be his friends like that's what it was forever so like up until that point it was like oh Christina and then like Tara came on her thing with him like oh who's that because uh, it's amazing that someone like uh, could actually like grab my attention at that time like that oh man um, but after that I ran straight upstairs to uh, after me and Carrie I ran upstairs to, uh, to the John of the Vlog Brothers Q&A which they did like for an hour uh, it was really neat they didn't get to ask any questions or anything uh, <laughs> uh, but it's just so many people here at VidCon in general and them doing uh, it at all um was an amazing thing to just sit in on it and be part of it. Hopefully, maybe later I'll get a chance to ask a couple questions, but probably not. Um, okay, so I am going to uh, desperately go find some food because I'm running off some Denny's I ate around like 7 o'clock maybe, 7, 8, I don't know, somewhere in there, um, and very little water. I should probably rehydrate as well. Um, so I am now going to go down to there and oh that was the perfect time <sighs> and go listen to a little bit of music I know Tara Southern is playing because she told me so I ran to her earlier like I said with uh, it's Ron and that'll be fun um I'll meet up with uh, my other friends later for the main stage stuff because they said they wanted to catch the arena stuff. They weren't too excited for the festival stuff. But um, they really like concerts, so I don't know what they're doing. Um, but let's go find out. Here is the official state of affairs. It is 7.10. I finally managed to get some food. I grabbed a way overpriced burger, a bottle of water, and a can of Sprite just to keep my sugar level up uh, and stay a little bit hydrated. Um, even those are counterproductive. Um, but I finally made my way over to the festival stage, and it was like just guys kind of goofing around on stage, taking selfies. And I just got irritated. I realized I probably should get out of the crowd for a minute and just go relax. So they closed down the expo hall, so I can't get the Penguin Chill Lounge, which is exactly where I want to go, just sit on a beanbag or some shit. Um, so I came out here to see if I can find a spot. And. And inside basically looks like that all over the place. To include the third floor, because they're they're showing the movie thing up there, but they're all hopped up about it. I'm telling you, like I thought I was gonna be upset about being the creepy old guy. I ain't a shit about being the creepy old guy now. Uh, these fangirl crazy ambushers are way worse than that stereotype. I mean, um, and maybe it's a personal perspective, but they're like running people over. Like people are like literally just trying to get out of the way because these people are not being safe and they're they're, they're enthusiastic, which is nice, but they're not enthusiastic at the right time. And it's it's almost like a really selfish type of thing, and I don't, don't enjoy it. So hopefully I'll I'll just stop and do a update thing for the week, and this will go in the Wiggy uh, Friday uh, journal thing. Um, I'm really excited to see Jer 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 I'm really excited to see Tara Southern later. She's ending the festival thing, uh, so I'm gonna do that and then head over to the, the arena. Hopefully, uh, that'll be a good time. And maybe we'll just run into the other guys. I don't know. Cool little update. Um, it's still like not even 7:30 yet, and I walked over to the arena just to see what kind of situation might be over here to see if maybe it's a little bit quieter because nothing's happened until nine o'clock. And custom is about an hour before a thing you go out there. But these people have obviously been here a while because 
Let's see, that's the front of the line, and we're going to keep going. I'm just going to walk until I get to the back of the line, because fuck, why not? See, and that doesn't even look like a line there. That looks like a freaking mass. That's not even a line. That's that's people ready to storm the gates. This is an army. So my assumption. Oh, keeps going, man. Okay, I guess this is the end of the line. Um. So my assumption is that there are no rules, except what they will and will not let you do. Uh, I kind of had a similar discussion there with uh, someone earlier about that, because people just kind of do whatever benefits them instead of whatever you we were once told to do. Um, and I am not going to be here for the opening of the thing, apparently. Uh, I just don't think it's going to happen. But, um, we can hope for the best in the situation. Yay, VidCon! We're heading to the main stage, because Austin Festival was not cool. I got to see, I think, Gen X Pen, um, which was nice, but I missed Tar Southern somehow. I think I got cranky earlier, and some guys were on stage doing some stupid shit, so I left for a bit. And by the time I got back, she apparently had to perform. And uh, I'm not happy about that at all, especially because she was the only reason I went to the stupid festival thing. Anyways, uh, and now I have to come back to this massive line thing that still exists because it's not yet 9 o'clock. And we'll have to see uh, what happens with it. A little update because this is such a crazy thing. This is typical of VidCon this year. Uh, the line was there, back by those palm trees in a pot. And it has continued all the way around. Behind these pots, which was a sneaky, sneaky move. Oh my god, there's another mob. There's another friggin' mob of people. I don't even know what to do with this place. Oh man. Okay, so regardless of what else is happening, that is the apparent end of the line, and uh, I'm gonna go lay down in <laughs> that until the doors open. And enjoy some nice musica uh, even though I miss Tara Southern. This is how people pass time at VidCon. Alright, I don't know what's going to show up, but this is the floor of the main stage. Okay, so last night was really fun. Um, ended up going, skipping the Earth to Echo movie. And uh, I messed up at the concert. I went to the Awesome TV Festival one. All I wanted to see was Tara Southern. I ended up getting irritated and leaving. And then by the time I came back, she had already performed and left. But I saw the end of Gen X Pen, uh, her performance. So that was good. Um, and then I ended up going over to the main stage, getting on the floor, because Friday nights, Thursday nights, uh, concert was really fun. Wheezy Waiter was freaking awesome, rocked it. Uh, but the only one like I really, really dug, even though some of the songs and the performances were awesome, was Hank Green and the Perfect Strangers. They had kind of like a, a punk ska feel to them, um, even if they didn't have anything but a saxophone. So that was really neat. Um, but the Gregory Brothers were there. They make songs from things that weren't. Uh, that's their wording for the most part. Um, Watsky was there. He's really a showman, but I... I don't know, it's just not my thing. Um, and then We are, we the Kings, uh, they, they were really good. Um, I was just so much pain and tired by that point that, uh, yeah, it was just a bad night. I ended up making a run uh, this morning in day three uh, to go get bandages and stuff when I would have normally recorded this. Um, and I had got insoles for my feet, uh, which really, really have helped. Um, just be prepared um, when you go to VidCon. 
because you don't know what's really going to happen until you get there or you've been there before maybe maybe i don't know all right that's it for me i'm camera if you don't like me bite me if you want to see anything else we're up to go ahead and click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels